Oh, great. Okay, more pressure. It's okay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I met you at a, um, a furniture event, and yeah. you're so nice. Oh, it was just you. great to see you again. You. So, um, so how much free Pepsi stuff have you received over the years, and what is it all over your house? Um, wow. I don't think when I, you know, that, that wasn't really a thing back in the day. You just worked for a client, you got your paycheck, and, um, but I will say we are definitely, if we are going to drink a soft drink, we are definitely a Pepsi family. <laughs> Did, um, I, they always say don't work with animals and children. Um, so how, how crazy was it? Were the dogs, I mean, are the wolves, were they behaving? Any stories? I think over the years we've uh, gone from using wolves, real wolves, to these are actually Tamascan dogs, 99% um, wolf. They originate from Finland, uh, but they're not actual wild wolves. And there's two reasons for that. I think in 2021, attitudes have changed a little bit with regard to exploitation of wild animals. And we don't want something that is in all, is, is for charity to be soiled by suggestion of anim animal exploitation. Um, but it was quite fun in the old days when we did use real wolves because Cindy's quite scared of dogs. And these, oh. were, <laughs> these were actually massive wolves. Okay. And uh, I got into trouble, I think, the first day we shot because I was trying to track the wolf with some chicken. It was about minus 15 degrees, and the, the wolf wrangler uh, mistimed a throw, and the frozen chicken hit Cindy uh, in the car. <laughs> and um, uh, it was early in our relationship, and she said, David, that, that's not appropriate. <laughs> and I, I never a true word said. <laughs> well, I guess when David invited me to shoot with him the first time and knowing that there were going to be wolves there, I just... I don't know why I thought that they were going to be trained like movie wolves. Uh, unbeknownst to me, you can't train wild animals. Like, they're, you know, these are real wolves. So, mm. yes, their owner, the handler of them, kind of knew what behavior to expect. But it's not like a movie dog that knows, go sit on that mark, you know. Right. So it definitely leaves room for a little bit of excitement. Yeah. Um, uh, what would you tell people, like, as far as modeling or photography, what would you tell them to to start just go out there and do it? Or do you have any advice on for the people? On the photography side? Yes, yes. Uh, on the photography side, I would my two pieces of advice I always give, number one, be very tough on yourself. Be your own biggest critic. Mm -hmm. um, and number two, look at the work of others. Ansel Adams always said photography is about the heart and the soul and the work of others. So be a sponge to, the, to, wor to work with others. Oh, I love that. OK. Yeah. Wow, modeling. It's the, you know, I'm not sure I'm really the best person to give advice in this day and age because you know it's it's funny when my daughter first started modeling people were like what you know how, can, how are you sure you want your daughter to be a model and I said really every young person is a model in your life now because of their Instagram er, there isn't a 10 year old who doesn't know like their <laughs> their good angle and so um, but I will say like understanding like if I'm gonna work with David Yarrow do your homework first that I would look at his books or look at his pictures online or look at his Instagram understand the type of images that he takes so that when I am on set, we can speak the same language. Oh, that's great advice, actually. That's really good. Uh, so um, American Horror Stories, love it. Oh um, the gays are going crazy, um, <laughs> and including myself. And um, what's it been like to see your daughter on there? And how did she get to know Ryan Murphy and all that? Well, she, I don't, she didn't know Ryan Murphy before she got cast. Oh, okay. um, she started doing auditions during the pandemic. And everything was just you could self tape and send it in, and she got the role of Ruby first, um, which was you know she's a uh, if you watch it she's like an undead girl that that cuts people up, <laughs> so that was pretty interesting. And now she's playing an uh, a, like a Harvard student who has an alien encounter, and I'm not sure much more I can say than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I think for her it's a great outlet for her creativity, mm -hmm. and it's it's fun. She's having a great time with it. What? Well, yeah. Yes. Um, so what's the goals of, of um, this to go on and travel maybe? And, and what's the future? I, d I don't think Cindy wants to go on tour with me longer, <laughs> longer than 72. Road, <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Every man's dream. Um, no, we were up in uh, Madison, Wisconsin last night. Okay. And uh, obviously that was an appropriate place to start because it's where the uh, university hospital is. Mm -hmm. And it was actually uh, a very successful evening. We raised $400,000. Uh, so the pressure now is on Chicago to see if they can, oh. they can um, at least uh, meet that or beat that. And mm -hmm. uh, so if we can raise over a million uh, dollars over a weekend, that would be uh, fantastic. And uh, I just, when, when you go to the meet some of the doctors as we did last night, it's an incredibly humbling experience. 
I'm just a snapper. I'm just a photographer. Whereas these people are saving lives. Mm. So it puts everything into perspective. Yeah. Well, I wish I brought my checkbook um, so I could get to that million dollars. But you take Venmo, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Very, um, well, it was great talking to you. Yeah. Good Thank to see you again. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Someone...